Right, welcome down to the Sunday Fix. We're at Carrie Screen with our teaching guru, Simon Edwards. You don't like it, but I'm calling you that. The feedback <laughs> says you're amazing. So what and we have asked, kind. what we have asked, if you can send your videos in, now and again, we can't do them all, but we're going to pick people out where you think there's a rapid help. Yep. So we've got a lad called Rob Cook sent a video in. He's youngish. He's a big lad, six foot. Big, big, strong boy. And his message was, Simon, can you help? I've got driver. I've been messing with half swings, three quarter swings, like myself before I met you, Simon. And, you know, he's quite a big lad. Yep. He's got flexibility, mm -hmm. movement, but his drives are all going 170. So he has got a video in. We should show the video. Let's see what you're seeing. Yep. Are you, there's a, any tips for fix it? Any drills? What could help him? Absolutely. And it'd be a couple of little simple things for Rob to help him get his driver up over 200 yards and, and create better strike quality and much better ball flight. Okay, perfect. So what we've seen with the video that Rob sent in, and I'm gonna draw some lines on this to help Rob and everybody else that's watching this. Okay, so what we see with Rob, it's really, his setup's really, really, really good. The big thing is we see as Rob takes the club back is he loads his left side way too much. You can see his left knee working towards the target. We can see his upper body trying to rotate, but his lower body's really, really, really static, and the club's gone way behind him. There's no hinge, there's no leverage. So what happens as Rob changes direction into the downswing, he's basically just hitting it just with his arms because his body is absolutely ground to a halt because as his pressure's into his left foot in the backswing, he can't take it any further into his left foot. So he's gonna stall out and the club's never, ever, ever gonna have the correct loft on. The club's never, ever, ever gonna have the, the correct path. It's not enough momentum. So in my world, what we've always gotta try and do with people is to get them to move their body in the same direction that the club's swinging. So, because what Rob would do is he'd take it away and his first move looks like he, he gets big load onto the left side. And this drill will really, really help you start to get your body moving in the same direction that the club is swinging. So as we set that up, start with your feet together, swing the club a little forwards, and as you swing the club backwards, take a step. That'll help you get really, really, really loaded into that right side, as opposed to you being stuck on the left side. From there, as we swing that down, find something like a table tennis bat or a tennis racket or anything like that. So once you can feel at the top that that right side's loaded because it's moved in the same direction as the club is swinging, as you then come down, we wanna see the black side of the bat an impact because that will help you rotate the face into impact way more. And as that face is rotating, as you, the arms connect up, you'll start allowing your body to swing in the same direction that that club's swinging. Right, Rob, hope that helps. Now, golf mates, don't forget, comment below if you're struggling with anything and we might see something where we can do a tip. But if not, Simon is on Skillis or he's here at Carris Green. Either way, Rob, there you go. You've just uh, got some gold there. Simon, thank you very much Absolute again. Absolute pleasure. Thanks, mate. And like I said, we're getting the community back. We're stood here in the rain and we don't we care. We are definitely stood in the rain. We don't care because <laughs> it's all about helping you guys and it's all about, you know, making 2024 the best golf season ever for you.